lovely learners, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you may be able to see, I'm in a little bit of different surroundings today. And that is because I just moved into my dorm room. For those of you who don't know, I go to the University of Northern Colorado, Sco Bears. And I moved in early. Um, normally move-in day would have been the Thursday before classes. Um, but I moved in a week early because I'm working for the university during move-in week, so I couldn't be moving in and working at the same time. So I'm going to give you a dorm tour today, um, which I have been waiting for since I started this channel. I'm so excited. Um, there's a couple things that haven't quite gotten finished, but pretty much everything else is up and organized. Um, and I also think this is more like what a normal dorm room looks like. I feel like a lot of times when people are making these videos, they're making it try to look as perfect as can be. And like, this is really nice. It's a fabulous dorm room. Um, but I want you to know that it, it, it'll look like a normal bedroom or in like a space that somebody lives in. Cause that's what it is. It's not just a perfectly staged room all of the time. Um, also, one other thing that I wanna mention is I know that a couple of the things that I'm going to show you today are a little bit on the pricier side, so I know that that's not gonna be like something that everyone's gonna be able to have in their dorm room. And I do wanna let you know these were gifts, um, and that's why I have them. Um, so if you're like, that's un like unrealistic, it is. They, I didn't, I didn't pay for them. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here's what the back of the door looks like. I'm not gonna show you the front because my number's on it, but you come through the door and into the bathroom. And I am so excited. They gave me this full length mirror, y'all. Um, like, that's awesome. Um, also, I think I forgot to mention, I live in a single. So this is not a representation of all dorms at UNC everywhere. Um, I live in a single, so keep that in mind. And I live on West Campus. Again, not gonna tell you the hall, but um, yeah, anyway. So the floor is pretty nice in here. Okay, I've got one towel bar. It's my hair towel and my towel. I also hung my laundry thing in here. The awesome thing about this, I think it's from Amazon. It's got backpack straps. I'm actually right next to a laundry room, but like if you had to go farther away to do your laundry, that's gonna be super great. And it's got a lot of room in here. So that's awesome. Um, then of course a toilet, the shower, excuse my bath mat. There's a little um, shelf in here. So like my shampoo and my soap and my razor all fit. And it actually has shockingly good water pressure. Like I cannot tell you how surprised I was to have actual good water pressure. Um, this is my little cabinet. So toilet paper, feminine stuff, and tissues in there. Um, I got this trash can from Target, but I don't like it. Um, because So I took the lid off and it's actually in that cabinet because it was one of those where like you could push either side and like it would be, um, it would make a hole and it was just getting in the way. So anyway, here is like all my daily stuff that doesn't fit in a drawer. This is like my hair stuff. The sink also, talk about the good water pressure in the shower, but the sink is powerful. And I just, I have a designated washcloth for the mirror right now because it just sprays the whole mirror if you don't do it correctly. This towel, it's this cute Harry Potter towel. I'm using it as my dish towel because I don't want um, like, something that I'm using to clean my body and then use it to clean my dishes. So that's being my dish towel. Um, and then my hand towel. Um, these are these towels that these ones are um, from Target. Um, and then this drawer is like all of my stuff that I need every day. Um, it actually doesn't stay closed when you put stuff in it. I'll show you. It's supposed to be soft closed, but it doesn't catch. So it won't go all the way. So I put a command strip and then it holds. This drawer is just other like makeup and random shower stuff, more hair, like my hair tools, and then my towels and my dish soap because I didn't know where else to put that. These are not real drawers, those are just fronts. And my cabinet has like all my cleaning stuff and my, my big towels and whatever and like my nail polish. 
Um, so then you go out of the bathroom and here's one light switch and then my thermostat. Um, it does not know what temperature it is outside. It says it's 112 degrees. It is not, it's 91 degrees. Um, I think there might be, so it says like occupied. The AC is on pretty much the whole time that I'm in here because I turned it down to 72 because heat rises and I'm on the top floor and so it's kind of warm up here. Um, but it won't let me go below 72. So I think there must be some kind of governor on it. Then we've got the closet. Um, and the closet's way bigger than I thought it would be. So here are all the clothes I brought. I have a closet still full of clothes at home, although my closet at home is not huge. Um, but I just didn't bring all of my clothes because like these are summer clothes and then I'll swap out my winter and whatnot. Um, like I've just got some other, like my winter boots are up there and like my blanket, my iron. I have this mini ice cream maker thing that's super cool but I haven't used it yet. Um, and then what I did, I didn't have enough of these black velvet hangers, which is what I wanted. So I put all of my clothes on there. And then actually my mom found this in her closet. I didn't buy this, but for skirts, like this is the most clever thing ever. It just like hooks on there. Um, and then pants, this bar lifts up and then you can like get those pants off of there. Um, and I did bring some pants because it, it can start snowing in September in Colorado. So I'm trying to be prepared. Um, in an emergency like I have my winter coat and my winter boots but not all my winter clothes um oh but anyway back to the hangers I did these are hangers I already had at home so I put like my jackets on these teal ones and my robe even if you're living in a single and you have your own bathroom you need a robe because if you're showering or something and you have to do a fire drill or the fire alarm goes off for real you're gonna want a robe um that my laundry basket I don't really need a laundry basket, but we moved some of my stuff in it, so I just kept it. Um, it's broken, but there's other laundry stuff in there, and then I'm kind of throwing everything in there because there's a couple things I still need to set up. Um, the shoes, my toolbox, my drying rack, some other cleaning stuff. They have a hook in here already, um, and so my purse, I just got this at Target, and I love it. And then this is my lanyard with my ID on the end. Um, and then my parents gave me this pin it says Inconceivable, which is a Princess Bride reference, and I love that movie so much, so I have that on there too. Um, something I realized I forgot to show you, the stuff that's in the laundry basket um, that uh, like doesn't have a home yet is because I'm going to put this thing right here um, because... I have EpiPens because I get allergy injections, so I have to—I only have to carry them once a week, and I don't want to forget them on those days that I need them. So I'm gonna put them in like this little hammock thing, and then the hooks. I'm gonna put like my hat and maybe my purse. I don't mind if my purse stays in the closet. It's just that hook pretty much only works for the purse, um, and this way I just won't forget those like my ID or something because I will be locked out of the building and my room if I don't have my ID, and I also won't be able to eat if I don't have my ID because my meal swipes are on there. So, oh, also, this is what, like, the carpet looks like. It's kind of, like, regular cheap carpet, but it's doing its job. Um, so then we come in here, and we have my mugs. This is my favorite one. It says, um, Barely Awake. It's from Yellowstone, but I love it because UNC's mascot's mascot is a bear, so it matches. Um, that's my microwave. I believe I got it from Best Buy. Again, that was a gift, so I think I got it from Best Buy. And then my fridge, my mom got me this little thing to hang over the fridge. So I've got my paper towels and my travel mug in here. Um, and then I've got all of these like plastic utensils and whatever on that side with the po pockets. And then this does have a freezer. So right now my sister brought me some sweet bread that's in there. And mo right now this is mostly drinks. I have a Starbucks that I need to throw away. Um, I have a Brita filter, which I love. I did accidentally bump the temperature thing in the fridge earlier, and I started turning the water to flush to slush accidentally, so I had to fix that. Um, also, Zevia, this is like this fake soda thing. It's great. I love it. That's why there's so many in there. And then my uncle and aunt gave me this TV. Um, which has been super nice and they also gave my family a while ago and we just hadn't used it this amazon firebox 
Um, so I'm using that for like my streaming stuff. I am going to get a Blu-ray player because I do own some DVDs and Blu-rays that I want to be able to watch. But I found out today you can also check out a, um, a DVD player from the front desk. So like if I really wanted to, I'll just do that probably. I brought my favorite books. Um, so The Glittering Court, Cruel Beauty. Cruel Beauty is my favorite book of all time. So I brought that. I also have a digital copy, but I really wanted a hard copy too. Um, Divergent and The Selection. These are just like the books that I read at least once a year. So I wanted to have them. I have two um, college cookbooks, like mug meals, some memory book things, and then my piano book that I'm practicing right now. My aunt got me these really cute coasters. I have this really adorable... Is it Funko Pop? Is that what it is? This little speaker, Harry Potter, that's really cute. Um, Because I don't think I mentioned my dorm room theme is supposed to be Harry Potter. It's kind of there. I just don't want to put too much stuff on the walls because I think it'll make it feel crowded. So, but I think I achieved my goal. Um, this is a little picture memory book of me and my best friend. Um, I have a humidifier because it is dry in Colorado, so I've got that. I have this Harry Potter lunchbox that I've had for a while, and I put some of, like, my smaller snacks in there because there's not, I don't have, like, a bin for them yet. And then I have these hedgehog, oh, hedgehog measuring cups that I brought just, like, for those mug meals and stuff, and also I just love them. Um, I have this Harry Potter color changing mug and this electric kettle so I can heat water up and then this can't go in the microwave so I can pour the hot water directly in here and then it'll reveal like the house crests of each of them. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I will. This is like all my supplements and my vitamins and my tea in here. Um, my mom brought me some fruit cups today and then I'm doing disposable plates because like washing the dishes here sucks so much so I want to be sustainable but I I can't like the sink sucks for that so I really want to do as minimal dishes as possible um so and then I've got some protein bars and like some other snacky things and then this is just a chocolate frog box that I had from Universal Studios um so I brought that and then I've got some containers for food and stuff this is my sewing kit and this is a disinfecting box um, and then that's like my cleaning spray and my cleaning rags. And then I have this um, bean bag that it is a Niffler. If you don't know what that is, it's a creature from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, um, which is kind of like a Harry... It's not really a Harry Potter prequel, but it's in the Harry Potter universe prior to Harry Potter. Um, so this I've got... And Nifflers are like my favorite mythical creature. So I got a bean bag. It's awesome. It even has, their thing is that they steal shiny things. So it has like this gold lined pouch on the front. It's adorable. It's from Pottery Barn. Then this wall over here, I have my erasable calendar that I had at home. Um, this is my paddle from my fraternity. I'm in an honor fraternity. So that's why it's a fraternity and not a sorority. And I can do a video on that if y'all want me to. Leave a comment if you want a fraternity video. Um, but I did initiation for that last semester, so I'm a brother now. Um, so I hung that up. And then I have this from when I did orientation. Even though I did it online, they still sent me like a package. So I have a couple of bears things, so I hung that up. And then this is my animals wearing bathing suits calendar. And it's like a lot of adorable pictures um, and stuff. So I've got that. Um, I'm borrowing this. This is my mascot for my group for work. So I'm borrowing that to take some pictures. His name is Bartholomew. Um, I have this Harry Potter mug. It looks like a cauldron and I keep pencils and stuff in there. I got this rose at the Renaissance Fair and like I'm obsessed. They put rose oil in the center so it actually smells like a rose. It's great. Um, and then this is my wax melter. I thought that this kind of like went with what I was going for, this like tree design. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to tonight, I think. Um, Cause you can't have candles in a dorm room. So my laptop and all of my like, I'm plugged directly into the ethernet because they tell you to do that because a lot of people are using the Wi-Fi in your building. So like it could get slow. Um, this is my normal water bottle. And then I've got pictures. So that's me and my friends. Um, that's me and my sister, and then this is me and my family, but I'm going to block that one out because they don't want to be on the YouTubes. That's just a fake succulent that my big and my fraternity gave me. My sister gave me this really adorable sheep bowl that she bought for me. 
like I if you guys don't know I love sheep so I just think this is the cutest thing I have my headphones and like this good luck pig thing in here um and then you've seen this before this is from my birch box like my lotion and my all that these little jars from Ikea, I've got paper clips, binder clips, and thumbtacks. I don't know why I bought, brought the thumbtacks because I didn't bring my bulletin board, but I just wasn't thinking about it. Um, this is my lamp. This is from Ikea. This thing is awesome. It has like this built-in fan thing, and then you can change the mode of the light and stuff. Um, oh, I just turned the fan on accidentally. Um, and then this thing right here is my diffuser, um, my essential oil diffuser. So I've got that, and that's super tiny and adorable and then my mom for my 18th birthday or like my parents for my 18th birthday but my mom found them um got me this like checklist this adulting checklist which is so funny because the other on uh, the first day I was here I was just messing around like doing this and I, I legitimately like these are jokes but I legitimately was like oh crap I forgot to take my vitamins and then went and took them when I was doing this and then they also got me these adulting stickers. Um, so the one that I put on the other day was um, made my bed. So that was funny. Um, I, they give me a trash and a recycling can, but you guys don't want to look at that. Oh, something I forgot about the desk is um, the chair. So oh, this bookshelf came with the room. This chair, this desk. This chair is like two position. So it can lean back like that or be forward. I think every school classroom needs these because then children could like safely lean back in their chairs, but whatever. That's just my my thing of the day. Okay, the room also came with this couch. So I put a sheet on it because it's kind of gross because I don't know how many people have lived on this couch and it's just yucky and it's a yucky color. Um, so this is a pillow that I brought from home. It says being random is potato. It's one of my favorite things. I had to bring my fox neck pillow because of my ear piercing. It's still having some problems, so sometimes I have to sleep on that so my ear has a hole. This is a blanket that UNC gave me for free. I love it. it has the bear on it. And then I got this trunk. Um, you can put wheels on the end. Like, that's those little metal spots. You can put wheels on it. It was kind of hard to get in here. My mom says when we move out, I have to move it empty because it's just too heavy um when it's full but I've just got some like I put all my manuals in here the shoes that I'm not going to wear every day are in here um I hesitated to put it out here but I like having somewhere to put my feet when I'm on the couch and I also raise my bed up the highest that it can be um and so it's a good like stepping stool onto the bed um I went to Target yesterday and I bought this little cart to be a nightstand because I didn't have any kind of like nightstand thing. You can see there's just like a bunch of cords under my bed. So I'm just, I'm charging my iPad in there and like my TV remotes. This is my alarm clock. This pig, it makes squealing pig sounds. I call it demon pig. Um, this is the light for my, the remote for my fairy lights. And I've got tissues and like this little fan here. Um, and then the room also comes with this under bed dresser. So right now my pajamas are hiding from you guys under there. I have my jewelry box, my mirror, and my um, my lap desk, which I was using to eat dinner the other day. Um, and I have an extra phone cube that I need to do something with. Um, but I actually, again, like brought, I have so many more clothes at home, but I only brought the ones that I'd worn in the past three weeks because those are the ones I know that I'll use. Um, and so those all fit in there actually really well. Like I have a lot more storage space than I actually thought that I would. Um, I'll show you like my desk. I forgot to show you my desk drawers. Like, so this is like a bunch of random stuff. Um, all my notebooks. And then in here I put my textbooks and my bag of masks and my trash bags. Cause like, I don't know where else to put that stuff. Maybe in the trunk. And then this is like my microphone for recording my command strips and stuff like that. Um, and so it's it's a similar situation over here where I have like a lot of room in here. Um, and then the reason I'm showing you under the bed is because there's actually, there's a lot of outlets in here, which is great. And there's one with four right here. The fan had been plugged into that one, but my tripod was just plugged in for um, filming this. And then you've got ethernet, cable, and phone connections the rooms don't come with phones anymore but if i wanted to have like a landline type situation i could and i bought this cool um 
power strip. It's got two USB plug-ins and then two regular ones. Um, so I'm, it's going pretty well. My yoga mat and my weights are under here. Um, I'm going to do that over in the hall, I think. And then this is my bed. I'm standing on the trunk right now, so it seems like we're even with it. Um, but I've got the, so the, the bedspread, I'm going to step down. Um, the bedspread is Harry Potter, so there's like a hippogriff and a snitch and a Hogwarts crest, um, and some owls and like the flying keys and all of that jazz. Um, some more out the Deathly Hollows, a stag. So some really cool stuff. And then I've got these pillows. I'm a Ravenclaw, so I have a Ravenclaw pillow and a chocolate frog pillow, which is like honestly one of my favorite things ever. And also it says 70% finest croco, which I, instead of cocoa, I think that's hilarious. I don't know why. I just can't get over it. This is my Niffler. I can never remember his name. It's either Fred or George. My sister has one too. And one of them is named Fred and one of them is named George, but I can't remember. And that's, this is my coup. It's a Scottish Highland cattle. I bought it, or my sister bought it for me in Scotland. His name is just Koo. Um, and then I've got gray sheets on my bed. So the, sh the mattresses here are dual firmness. So I think I'm sleeping on the firmer side and I really like it. Um, and I didn't fall on the bed, so that was a win. And then my favorite part of the whole room is this wall. So I have these posters that we actually bought um, for my sister's 11th birthday. We had a Harry Potter surprise party, so we bought these. And they hung up in our house for a while, but when we repainted um, last year, we took them down. And so my mom said I could have them. So I put the posters up, and I put up my fairy lights. And the fairy lights have a bunch of different settings, but I like this one the best. Um, and I just love this wall so incredibly much. I think it's amazing. Um, so I think that that was everything. Okay, so I can't tell y'all what hall I live in for privacy reasons, but what I will tell you is the UNC dorms are split up into three neighborhoods and I am in the Ridge neighborhood. So, um, keep that in mind. When I, um, hopefully this channel will be up for a long time. So when I move out, eventually I'll tell you where it was so that it can be more helpful. But for right now, I got to think of my own safety. So yeah, that being said, I'm going to have a lot more college content now that I'm here. And I hope that y'all will continue watching. Um, and I'm going to send you off to the outro. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my dorm room. Stay tuned for more college related content. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.